or using block as the state management of choice or the interface adapter. So I'm going to add is block and flutter block both added. Moving on, we can head over to the auth and head over to presentation. Now over in the adapter, I'm going to create a new. Now you could either choose to use either the qubit or the block class. And for this particular um, range of choices, people might ask when to use block and when to use qubit. Now personally, I usually say, and every other person who I know in the field usually says, to use the qubit when you don't need to track the event. So if a user is going to log in and you actually want to know or track what event was triggered before the login, maybe if they did forgot password before trying to log in and there's some sort of logic that totally depends on that, then I would advise you to use the block. So that way you have event as objects and because these events are objects you can totally keep track of them. But qubits totally depend on um, functions to trigger certain functionalities. So uh, there's no objects to be tracked. You barely can barely keep track of um, functions that were triggered before whatever function. So the qubit, the qubit system is not very well patterned for that. So I'm going to use a qubit since this is going to be the auth qubit. I'm using a qubit, I'm just choosing a quotable because we're using a quotable. I'm using a qubit because we don't need to track state. All right. So that boils down to this auth qubit and the auth state. If you're already familiar with block, um, then there's no need to worry about this session. You prob probably already know what I'm going to do.